This is potentially excellent and massive news for West Ham United. All the big hitting journalists are covering this one in the last half hour. In such a short space of time, the big names are reporting this same news. And that is Manchester City are expected to make their first official bid for Declan Rice this afternoon. This is excellent for West Ham. That is, of course, if you believe the reports. But I'll be honest with you. I'm inclined to do so because of who is reporting this news. We've got David Ornstein from The Athletic, who I think is probably the number one journalist, in my opinion, for reporting accurate football news at present. And he's leading with it, saying that Man City have been monitoring the Declan Rice situation for the last couple of weeks. Obviously, Arsenal made a couple of bids. City have just been watching it from afar. They've been weighing up whether to make a move for Declan Rice, and they've decided that they're going to do so. They are going to make an official bid for Declan Rice, obviously Gundogan on the verge of joining Barcelona, Kovacic on the verge of joining Manchester City, but their next target will be West Ham United captain Declan Rice. Fabrizio Romano reporting it as well, and he's got a little bit of credit in the bank for me actually, because last week he reported that West Ham were on the verge of signing Tim Steiden as technical director. And he said, it's, it's all, it's done. It's done. It's agreed. The only thing that needs to be done is the signature on the bit of paper. So I know officially it's not done, but Romano said, no, it's everything sorted. It's all done. He will become the technical director. And then it was followed up with people, other journalists saying, well, it's not quite done yet. It might happen. might not happen. And Romano stuck to his guns a few days ago. Romano said, no, it's done. It will be announced eventually. It will get sorted. And I, I respect and in the know that puts his neck on the line and sticks to his guns. I, I respect it a lot. None of this fancy, none of this, oh, well, he's been interviewed. He He's likely, he's a leading contender. So then if he becomes technical director, they were correct. And if he doesn't become technical director, also correct. Whereas Romano's just put his neck on the line and said he will be technical director. In the last 24 hours, it's come back around. There's more journalists now saying that he will actually be appointed. And Romano stuck to his guns the whole time, and I respect that. So he's got credit in the bank for me this summer. I mean, this is the man that called out Brighton Football Club. Brighton said, ah, there's reports about Kukurea is going nowhere. And Romano said, yeah, wait and see. Then uh, he joined Chelsea. So he knew more than the admin at Brighton. But anyway, I'm going off a tangent already. But Romano, Ornstein, various different journalists are reporting the same thing here. Man City will bid for Declan Rice. And this is excellent news for West Ham United. Because I've had two fears. You know this, I've had two worries. And it's just personal opinions. There's no information. That's just feelings I've had. One, that only Arsenal were going to bid for Declan Rice. And up until now, that has been the case. They've, they've had a clean run at Declan. They've had a fortnight to bid what they want and get an advantage on any other potential suitors for Declan Rice and get something agreed to West Ham. Well, they've dragged their feet. They've made low offers. And they've given this window of opportunity now to Manchester City, to Manchester United if they want. They've dilly-dally, they did their, they've dragged their feet and now Man City can come to the table. So that was my biggest fear, that only Arsenal would bid. And West Ham wouldn't really be in a, in a good stance when it comes to negotiating. My other fear was Declan Rice wanted to go to Arsenal. His, his number one choice was Arsenal, but not only perhaps his number one choice, his only choice. Maybe he wanted to go to Arsenal. Rather than leave West Ham, he wanted to join Arsenal. Slightly different mentality stances there. Now, that could still be true. And this is what we're going to find out very, very quickly. If Declan Rice has any interest in joining Man City. Now, obviously, from a footballing perspective, you think, well, why wouldn't he be mad not to? Why would he not go to Man City? Why would Man City not be his number one choice? Completely agree. But we know family is hugely important to Declan. He spoke about it on numerous times. Big interviews he's done with likes of Gary Neville and the overlap where he spoke about how important family is. He's got his custom-built big house in London as well. So it would make sense why he'd want to stay in London. But even if Declan Rice still prefers Arsenal, even if Man City come in and Rice says, look, I still want to go to Arsenal. I want to stay in London. I'm picking, putting family over football. I'm staying in London. And Arsenal still my preferred destination. That's fine. He's entitled to do that. And, you know, fair play to him if that's what he decides to do. But what it does do is it puts the pressure on Arsenal. Say, well, you can only get him if you at least match what Man City bid. And if you're not going to do that, West Ham won't accept it. The only bid West Ham will be accepting is Manchester City's. And then Declan Rice has to choose between staying at West Ham for a further year or going to Man City. This, this is just, there's only positives for, for West Ham. With Man City bidding. It'll be interesting to see what they bid as well. Because West Ham's price has been clear for a while. Now the public price, 120 million, but we'll consider players, we'll consider cash plus players to make it 120 million. 
on, on a piece of paper, the value would be 120 million. Now we know it's not going to take that. We know fine. If, but nobody is suggesting that West Ham will hold out for the 120 million. We know that if a bid of 105 million cash turned up on the table, Sullivan would accept it just like that. We know that. But it'd be interesting to see what Man City proposed here because while it's been reported that Man City will make a bid, what isn't being reported is the structure of that bid in terms of value, but also will there be a player here? Will Calvin Phillips be part of the proposal for Manchester City? Now, this is where it would get a little bit tricky because Calvin Phillips has spoken last week very publicly about how he doesn't want to leave Man City and that he would have liked more game time, but he's only been there a year. How can he leave after a year? Which... I completely agree with him. How can he leave? You can't just go to a club for a year and decide, ah, scrap it, I'm off. But I wonder if his tune would change if you then, if your club then puts you in a proposed deal. That's basically saying, we don't need you, we don't want you anymore, so we think you should leave kind of thing. I wonder if Callum Phillips' attitude to a move would change very, very quickly. Because I often think when players are at clubs, and I include Declan Rice in this, you know, sometimes when people, subscribers will comment on videos saying as Declan Rice actually said he wanted to leave yet well no he hasn't but he's not going to is he because he's a professional he's very respectful for West Ham he's very respectful to the fan base and he's been carrying on social media wise as if he's a West Ham United player as he should and that he's going to be here next season again as he should because at this point that is what is happening he's still a West Ham United player and I, I see clips you know when People say to him, oh, where are you going to be next season? He says, oh, my, the, the badge on my chest is West Ham. He's got to say that. I, I'd be furious if he said anything else. He's got to say he's a West Ham player. He's got to respect the club. And Calvin Phillips is in the same situation. When he gets asked about his future at Man City, he can't say anything other than he's committed to Man City and he's looking forward to next season. He can't say anything else. Um, as soon as you start saying that you want to leave, I think you're opening up a can of worms and... You're making it a little bit awkward for yourself at that club. So I take what Phillips said with a pinch of salt, really, to some extent. But the proposal for Man City is going to be not only crucial, but interesting. And what it does do, like I said, is it puts the pressure on Arsenal. And it says you, you're no longer holding all the cards here. You're no longer the only team at the table bidding for Declan Rice. Now, personally, I hope he goes to Man City. When the season finished, up until, even just until yesterday, to be honest with you, I've always been a bit, I don't mind where he goes. I think what Declan Rice has given West Ham, I think he's earned the right to, to go where he wants. Obviously, depending on that club matching what West Ham wants, etc. But should Arsenal and Man City bid the same, it's up to Declan Rice where he goes. He's earned that. He's given everything to this club. He came through the academy, cost us nothing. He's going to leave for 90, 100, 105, 110 million, whatever it is. It's a substantial fee West Ham are away to receive for him. He's just been the captain to win our first trophy in 43 years. As far as I'm concerned, he's got complete respect for me. He goes where he wants, assuming the club meets the valuation of West Ham United. So when he was linked to Arsenal and this move to Arsenal seemed likely, I was okay with it. And I understand why people are in, but I wasn't that bothered. If he wants to go there, he wants. I think he's taking a bit of a gamble because he's spoken about how he wants to win trophies. I don't think he's guaranteed them at Arsenal. But if he believes in the project, if he looks at Arsenal and says, you know what, if I was there that this season, Arsenal would have won the title. I would have been that five-point difference that they were lacking for Man City. I'm never, ever going to talk down a player for backing their ability to make that difference. I think it's a good thing to have that confidence. So if he went to Arsenal, I'd get it. But I'll tell you what, because of the way Arsenal have been acting, the way they've dealt with things in the last week or so, I really hope he doesn't go there. Honestly, I think they've had a two-week window of the season finishing until now where they've had a clean run at Declan Rice. They've been, they were the only team negotiating with West Ham. And it's not to say that Man City wouldn't have jumped in. We've seen this with clubs where Club A will do the bidding and agree something. And Club B says, thanks for that. Now we know exactly what that club want. We're going to match your bid and we're just going to take that player. Um, Liverpool did it with Luis Diaz, didn't they? I think it was that one. They Someone else did the bidding. They got the bid accepted. And Liverpool said, oh, we'll match that. And we're just going to have Luis Diaz. Thank you very much. Um, so there's no, there's nothing to suggest that, say, Arsenal had their second bid accepted. Man City wouldn't have come to the table immediately with the exact same bid and said, right, we'll match that. And we're going to have deck Rice. Because... So anyway, my point is I don't want him going to Arsenal because the way Arsenal have carried on. I hope he does go to Man City because I want to see Declan Rice go on and win things. I, I, 
I've always said this about myself. I'm only speaking for myself here, but I don't understand why it would be an issue. When players play for your club, you become a fan of the player as well. I mean, you can become a, you can be a fan of a player who doesn't, never plays for your club. I'm a fan of Jack Grealish. I don't mind saying it. I think he's a wonderful footballer. I think his personality is is refreshing to see. I like seeing Jack Grealish pissed up, having a good time after winning the championship. I love it. So I'm a fan of Jack Grealish. And while he's been at West Ham, I've become a massive fan of Declan Rice. And when he leaves West Ham, I know not everyone will agree with this. That's fine. That's your opinion. But this is mine. I will remain a fan of Declan Rice. When he goes somewhere else, I will be a fan of Declan. I want Declan Rice to do well. I struggle to want him to do well at Arsenal. But if he goes to Man City, well, I'll say it now. I'm rooting for them to win the Premier League next season. Obviously, I prefer West Ham to win it. But... Let's be realistic. I hope if Declan Rice goes to Man City, I hope Man City win the Premier League next season, and I want to see Declan Rice lift that Premier League trophy. I want him to go on and achieve his dreams of lifting the Premier League and the Champions League wherever he goes. I hope he does it. He deserves it. And um, you know, part of me hopes to be seeing back at West Ham when he's thirty-two or something. He comes back and has a little stint with us again. But um, that's just my man crush for Declan Rice coming through, really. But anyway, fantastic news for West Ham United, should the reports be true. But like I said, I'm inclined to believe them. So, Man City are set to make an official bid for Declan Rice. But I don't think that's the question, actually. I, I, like I said, I do strongly believe that's going to happen. The question is, how much? What's the structure? And then the last question... Is it going to make Arsenal up there a bit and start getting serious? Because it feels like so far they've been taking the mick a little bit out of West Ham. Little old West Ham here, you, you'll you have to accept this. We're going to have Declan Rice. Not happening. I've, I've been pleased. I have been pleased with how West Ham have dealt with Arsenal so far. Rejecting the bid immediately. No, not accepting it. Go away. You know what the bid is. And I actually quite like the way that West Ham have unofficially leaked the fact that they consider Arsenal's bid to have been embarrassing. I like that stance. I like it. To, to, to just slam that bid down immediately and give them no encouragement whatsoever. I really like it. I like that stance. So it'll be interesting to see what City do because they don't usually... City don't usually dither like Arsenal have been. I expect this bid from, from City to come in. I expect it to be a serious one. I, I hope it blows Arsenal out of the water, quite frankly. And I hope it's so good that we accept it almost immediately because... I think we need this deal wrapped up ASAP West Ham. We'll deal with that in another video. But I think it's in West Ham's interest to get this deal done quick. But I think it's in Declan Weiss's interest to go to Manchester City. If you've enjoyed this video, drop a like on and subscribe to the channel. Catch you in a bit.